Hey guys, Mr. Sorry here, and this is going to be a video on how to host your own Toontown private server. The reason I'm doing this is because people want to have fun. They want to mess with the source code, figure out how Toontown internally works. They want to, you know, just have some fun. And that's what I think Toontown is all about, and especially this. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to host your own server, and I'm setting up a community called ToontownServers.com where you can discuss the source code, you can, you know, discuss your fixes, all, all that type of stuff, um, which should be up in the next day or two. Anyway, this video is how to set it up, and my YouTube profile, Toontown Servers, this, this, where you're watching this video right now, will have various videos on how to, you know, add magic words, how to, you know, just do simple stuff so you can have some fun with Toontown, basically. And that's what it's all about. But I would not suggest making this server public or anything like that because there is some security issues. There's some things that could go wrong. It's not the best idea to make it public. Um, if you do want to make it public, what I have done is I just went on OVH.com, which is a server provider, and I bought a VPS just for just for hosting the server. So so even if something happened, oh well, I'm just you know having fun. Doesn't matter how much money it costs. It's just for fun. Anyway. This video is how to set up a server, so let's go with that. Uh, first off, this is only going to work on Windows for now. Um, it can work on Linux. It's This video is just going to go over Windows because most of you are using Windows. This is a server right here uh, with Windows 7, since most of you are going to be use, using Windows 7, most likely. Anyway, what you're going to do to start out is you're going to go to toontownservers.com slash source. And on this page, um, I'm, I've set up various things. Um, I put magic words list. I have hat list IDs. I, I made a few lists for people to use. But first, the very first thing you want to do is you're going to want to download Toontown Infinite Source Code. And it's going to open Mega up. Well, Mega. And you can just click download. Um, I don't think this works on IE. Mega is kind of odd because of how it works. But basically, download this gonna skip past this till the downloads done real quick all right now that the downloads done what you're gonna want to do is show in folder or you know just just get it out you know you know how to download stuff I hope if you really if you really need to be taught how to download stuff you probably should not be watching this video anyway now you have TTI source does it or well it's not showing the file extension, but it's a zip file. Um, normally with Windows, you can just right click, extract all, like straight up, just extract it. Um, I'm going to skip past this so you don't have to see me um, you know, extracting it because it does take a while. Uh, well, it depends on your computer. But you can also, if you don't have an extract all option, you can look up 7-Zip, which is similar to WinRAR, but free, open source, and it has its own compression type, and it has a lot of features, but uh, that's if you just need that. You can just, you know, do it this. Now, once you have TTI source extracted, you're going to want to go inside of it, and again, then this is where we're going to start. You don't need to read instructions, since I'm just going to tell you what you got to do here, but basically, first, install Python, just double-click, run. Next, next, next. And let that install. Once you have that installed, you get to the finish screen and click finish. I kind of already did it. Next, you're going to want to install Venus full. Which is Visual Studio. I think for Web Edition is what this one is. You could turn this off as well. Next, you're just going to close that. Now what you're going to want to do is copy or cut, really, um, Panda 3D to your computer's C drive. There's actually, uh, you can actually change the path of this, and uh, but I'm not going to go over that. Um, the very last thing you're going to want to do here, well, 
just to get the, these files set up basically, is to run increase TCP buffer size. Now you're going to want to reboot. Now that you've rebooted, just open your file or your um, TTI source folder, TTI source, Toontown Infinite, and then you're going to want to first start Astron server. Next, you're going to want to start the UberDog server. And then press enter. Next, you're going to want to start the AI server, which is basically the district server. You can actually just press enter on that one and then press enter again. And then it's going to create all the objects of Toontown in this district, basically, in layman's terms. So we're going to skip this. By the way, one thing I forgot to touch on that I know a lot of you will probably have struggles with is you're going to need to run all these batch files, these files with the little cog as administrator as well as when we ran this earlier i forgot to say you need to run this as administrator too and or turn user account control aka uac off which you can google um but i wouldn't i don't i don't know if i'd really recommend that i mean this is a server so it's usually off anyway but um i actually didn't touch on that earlier so there you go um if you don't run that as administrator this is going to be outputting an error like um i forget what it even is like I don't remember what the error is, but uh, basically, yeah, you're going to need to run those all as administrator. Now, if you're on your local computer, just at home, and you have like a graphics card, you can start game localhost. However, if you're on a server, it's not going to run the game. But um, you're going to want to right click edit, like I just did. And right here where it says 127.0.0.1, you're going to want to change that to your IP. If you don't know how to get your IP or you don't know what your IP is, then you can just open Google, type, is, type in what is my IP, and you can click on any website. It'll even tell you on Google, and then you can just grab that. and paste it right here. Now to run the game on other computers, you're gonna have to be port forwarded. And I don't wanna touch on that too much because I don't want people to make it too public yet because there's some things you could do wrong and there's some things I don't know yet. You know, I've just been messing with this for a day or two here. Anyway, um, but when you do edit that IP, you'll be able to run it on other computers as long as you're port forwarded. So I'm gonna run it now and show you. Um, on my actual desktop and not the server here. So hold on. Alright, right here I have um, the files and you and basically the client. Um, when you want other people to play it, you're going to have to do somewhat of the same process. You're going to have to go in here. But the client, other players, only have to download Python and copy the Panda to their C drive with just the base source anyway. Here you just type a username. Um, this is localhost because uh, I'm going to actually go over the API and how to fix it and some other stuff in another video but for now um, just type in some
And here is your own Toontown private server, basically. Um, there's tons of bugs, there's tons of stuff that's gonna go wrong, there's tons of crashes, it's, you know, it's, um, a leak, it's leaked code, it's like a leaked alpha, even, I'd say. And, you know, I also want to say, um, if the Toontown Rewritten or Toontown Infant developers don't want this video or don't want me to do any of this, then, you know, just get in contact with me or just post in the comments and, you know, I'm okay with taking it down. Anyway, that's how you host your own Toontown private server, basically. I'm going to be making other videos on how to do other stuff, how to, you know, like, like I was saying earlier, basically. So you can subscribe if you want, but I, it's not a big deal. You know, this is just for fun. Like I've said, like I've already said a million times. So, yeah, basically that's, here's, here's the server, and, um, on the, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna close this now, on the, um, toontownservice.com slash source page, there's some other text files here, um, I'm gonna explain those in a minute. So what you're gonna wanna do now is go into Toontown Infinite Retro, Astron, Databases, Astron DB, and these are kind of like database files, like in limit streams. So here, you're gonna just open any of these. Well, Notepad plus plus I'd recommend because it makes this a lot easier. But um, select a program or whatever program, like you can use whatever. You're gonna need to find your account. So go through these. What I, I chose the username Teb. So go through these. <laughs> Or just control F, find in all files, test, but I'm just, I'm not even gonna install it. Anything extra here? All right, here we go. So you're gonna find a file that looks like this and you're gonna see account ID and the username that you typed in. And right here, access level. You're gonna wanna change this to 700. And in another video, I'll actually explain this and maybe even show you how to add more and show you some extra cool stuff. But uh, for now, just change that to 700, save it. I just pressed Control S, but and then you can close this. And now you can reopen the game or just relog in. I go turn down relog in. Hold on. And then we can start game look close again with that edited IP that I showed you earlier. And now you basically have admin access. So, like I was saying, here is some useful links. So magic words are basically the admin commands in this game. And I put a pretty big list here. I didn't haven't put everything in here yet. There's I haven't put the DNA command or like some other stuff in here, but that's okay. I'll put them in later. So basically, how to use these? For example, let's just. So first I'll show you just one of using one of them. What you do is you type tilde, which is a squiggly line next to one, shift, and then the key next to one, and then ghost. And this is ghost mode, like you walk through stuff. Um, basically on this page, it explains all of them, tells you how to, like everything about them. Uh, you can run commands on other people as well by doing opening their tune panel which i don't have here but because there's no one around but two and then you know ghost or whatever um some of these can oh look just crashed anyway well i didn't even have a tune panel open so that's probably why it crashed but that's okay um a lot of these commands uh won't work on other people because there's a difference between get invoker and get target which i'm going to explain in a later video this was just over the basics you know getting getting started here and there you go um i hope you have some fun with this, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be making more videos and more stuff, so you can subscribe if you want, and goodbye.